Good morning and welcome to the first ever Teresa Trek, a collection of real life true stories from my life. And the reason I want to share them with you is because there is a lot of insight to be gained and things that changed my life forever. The first story I want to tell you about is uh, about how I had a transformation in my life in 2012. And what happened was, as I traveled all over the world, I encountered many unscrupulous people I was taken advantage of. I was um, robbed several times. And it was a very painful time in my life. And I always wondered, why would anyone want to hurt me when I just gave everything I had I gave so much and loved so hard. And um, my organization is called Somebody Cares, you know, so I just couldn't get it. Like, if you're supposed to reap what you sow, then why am I not reaping love? Why am I not reaping what I'm giving, you know? And so then in 2012, I went through the most intense transformation, life-changing experience that I've ever known. And what happened was it was uh, a treatment with essential oils. And from the moment she touched my feet, I was into the most sci-fi uh, supernatural experience that I've ever had. And what happened was like a bright light came into my right eye and with it came a memory. And God said to me, remember this? You want to know why this happened to you? And then he let me process it. He explained it. And then after I did, then another light came into my left eye and with it a memory. And he explained it. And it, it kept going on for two hours straight. I was convulsing in sobs. My body was um, very, very hot and uh, shaking on the inside. And when I finished, I understood my whole life. And the summary was something that I believe will change your life as well, especially if you are a person with a tender heart, uh, kind, loving, generous, um, especially women. And what it was is your kindness is mistaken for weakness and your generous heart for vulnerability. And so I discovered that I didn't know how to live and I had to relearn how to live. And what happened was I discovered that when people go through traumas of life, like we all do, if they cannot process with the person who wounded them, they will unconsciously look for uh, a tender heart, someone who's soft and gives too much, loves too hard, and they will unconsciously use them as a scapegoat and take their anger out on them. And that's what happened. I became the scapegoat for many, many people that I met all over the world. And it heaped uh, scar tissue upon scar tissue. And so once I discovered this, uh, it was because I believed lies about myself, that I didn't count, and that I needed to give to everyone I met and give over the top and uh, reduce myself down below the person I was with. And so once I discovered who I was and that I had a right to be and that I had value, a dignity came in to my backbone and immediately people began to see the difference and the abuse stopped. And now everyone who sees me wants to bless me total strangers pay for my lunch, pay for my dinner, give me twice what I was supposed to receive from what I was buying. It happens every day and it can happen to you too. And next week I will explain to you why I chose not to go into that therapy and use it in my own ministry. Why wouldn't I? There's a reason. I got something better, and I will tell all next week at the next episode of Teresa Trek. Thanks for joining.